my yarny friends i'm sarah and welcome to my crochet channel or welcome back today's video i'm going to be showing you how to crochet this beautiful leaf wrap shawl i'm calling it a new leaf and that's because it's bright colors looks like all the leaves changing in the fall and it has this nice little leaf pattern that is worked through the rows it's a six row repeat so it is a lot easier than you may think and of course we have these sections of solid double crochets it works up beautifully and i think you're really going to enjoy this stitch pattern now the way the pattern works is you can make it as wide as you want to and you can also make it as long as you want to if you work the wrap shawl according to the pattern that i have written you're going to get about 24 inches wide and about 60 inches long this is a large rectangle not a triangle like a lot of shawls are this is basically a wrap shawl it's a great addition to just about any outfit and it's a neat thing to take along in case you go to a restaurant that has their air conditioner on or maybe of course this fall when you're walking around looking at all the beautiful leaves in the fall to make the a new leaf wrap shawl <laughs> you're going to need about 10 and a half ounces of any medium weight number four yarn and that works out to about 575 to 600 yards depending again on how tightly that you stitch this particular yarn that i used for this one with all these beautiful bright colors is yarn inspirations karen cakes now this yarn is not 100 percent acrylic it's 80 percent acrylic and 20 percent wool if you have issues with wool i usually do but i have not had any issues with this particular wool sometimes i get a rash from using 100 percent wool but you don't have to use this particular yarn there are literally thousands of new beautiful striping cakes out there that will make a gorgeous gorgeous shawl you just need to make sure that it's a medium weight number four and you need about 10 and a half ounces all right i love the striping yarns for this but it'll look also gorgeous in your ombres or even just a solid in a beautiful fall or even christmas color all right so use your imagination or maybe even get in your yarn stash and put your own colors together we're going to be stitching today with our j hook the j hook is a 6.0 millimeter crochet hook and the reason we're choosing the j hook the six millimeter is we want it to be just a little bit loose almost have a lacy drape to it and this crochet hook size works perfect for that you need a needle to weave in ends and then a pair of scissors if you crochet up your wrap shawl according to the pattern that i have written you're going to get a wrap shawl that is a big rectangle and it's going to measure 24 inches wide and 60 inches long and again remember it might be tighter or looser depending on how tightly you stitch now you can adjust this by the multiples and the multiples are nine chains plus six and that will get you a wider length if you want to make it longer you're going to need to repeat those six row repeat that forms the leaf and i'll show you more about that as we get a little farther on in the video now you can find all the information for measuring and changing your stitches and all of those things on the blog and as always i'll put that blog link down in the notes underneath this video to get started with your wrap shawl you need to start with your slip knot and you need to chain 69 chains now i'm not going to be stitching the whole shawl again um, i'm going to be stitching a demo all right and so my demo is going to consist of 33 chains for your wrap shawl you need to stitch 69 chains Now 
I have stitched 33 chains and again you need to have 69 chains. We're going to begin by stitching a double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. One, two, three, four. So we'll go in that fourth chain and stitch a double crochet. And then we'll stitch one double crochet in each of those chains across. And this is just our foundation row to get us started for our wrap shawl. One double crochet in each of the chains working all the way across. We begin in the fourth chain from the hook and remember this chain three counts as one double crochet and then we stitched one double crochet in each stitch across. Now remember I'm doing a swatch but you need to have a total of 67 double crochets. Again that's because we started in the fourth chain from the hook and our chain three counts as one. Now we're going to chain three. This chain three counts as one double crochet. And then we turned our work and we're going to double crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, and three. So because our chain three counts as one and we stitched three, we have four double crochets. Now we're going to chain two. We're going to skip the next two double crochets and stitch a V stitch in the next. And the V stitch is a double crochet, chain one, and double crochet in the same stitch. Now we'll chain two, we'll skip the next two double crochets and stitch one double crochet in the next four. One, two, three, and four. Now we'll chain two, we'll skip the next two and stitch a v-stitch in the next stitch and again that's a double crochet, chain one and double crochet. Chain two, skip two and one double crochet in the next four. One, two, three, and four. We'll go ahead and chain two, but I want you to see that this is the way that the repeat works for row two. Four double crochets, chain two, skip two, v-stitch in the next, chain two, skip two, one double crochet in the next four. So we've chained two, we're going to skip two, and v-stitch in the next stitch, which again is our double crochet, chain one and double crochet, and then chain two. Once you have repeated this all the way across, you're going to have seven v-stitches and seven sets of four double crochets. And that brings us to our last six stitches. We chain two, we're gonna skip two, and stitch one double crochet in those last four stitches. That chain three is that last stitch on that row that we're stitching into and then go ahead and chain three. And so your total for row two, of course mine only has three V stitches, but you're going to have seven V stitches and then eight sets of your four double crochets because we have four at the beginning and end of our row. All right, let's do row three. We've chained three, we're going to turn our work and now we're going to stitch one double crochet in those next three stitches. And chain two. And now this brings us to our V-stitch. And what we're going to do is we're going to stitch a double crochet in the double crochet of the V-stitch. 
we're going to stitch a double crochet in the chain one space and then we'll stitch a double crochet in that second double crochet of our V stitch and chain two and this is our repeat for row three chain two one double crochet in the next four stitches one two three and four chain two then we'll double crochet in the first double crochet of our V stitch then we'll double crochet in the chain one space and then double crochet in that second double crochet of our V stitch and chain two. So we'll have three double crochets stitched onto our V stitches with four double crochets in between. All right, so one double crochet in the next four double crochets. There we go. Chain two. And then when we get to our next V stitch here, we'll double crochet in that first double crochet of the V stitch, double crochet in the chain one space, and double crochet in that second double crochet of our V stitch, and chain two. And so this is our repeat for row three. We have four double crochets, chain two, and then three double crochets stitched in our V stitch chain two and then repeat that all the way across your row okay and you're going to have again seven sets of these three double crochets stitched in your v stitches chain two and then we'll stitch one double crochet in those last four double crochets and again just to remind you i'm doing a swatch so i have less repeats across. Let's go ahead and chain three. And so your total for row three is going to be eight sets of your four double crochet groups and seven sets of your three double crochet groups. Now we're ready for row four. We've chained three. We'll turn our work. One double crochet in the next three stitches because again our chain three counts as our first double crochet. chain one and now what we're going to do is go to the first double crochet of those three and stitch two double crochets in that first double crochet of those three so two double crochets in the same stitch then we'll stitch one double crochet in that center double crochet of those three and then two double crochets in that last of those three double crochets and this is going to give us five double crochets and then chain one all right so just to repeat we stitch two double crochets and that first double crochet one in the second or the middle one and two double crochets in the last one so we had three and now we have five chain one and then one double crochet in each of those four one two, three, and four, and chain one. Now we're to those next set of three, and we'll repeat what we did over here. Two double crochets in the first of those three double crochets, one double crochet in the next, and two double crochets in that third one of those three, one and two, Oops, there we go, and chain one. And so there's our second set of five double crochets. And this is forming that leaf. All right, now we come to our next set of double crochets and we stitch one double crochet in each of those four. And chain one. And then you'll repeat that again two double crochets in the first of those three, one double crochet in the center or second one, 
and two double crochets in the last of those three double crochets and chain one and then you'll repeat this working all the way across your row until you get to those last few chain one and then one double crochet in those last four stitches whoops I missed my stitch there we go <laughs> All right, and chain three. And so for row four, you'll have eight sets of your four double crochets, and you'll have seven sets of your five double crochet groups. Now we're ready for row five. We've chained three. We're going to turn our work. Our chain three again counts as our first double crochet, and we're going to double crochet in the next three. Every row at the beginning and end of the row will have four double crochets. Now we're going to chain two. And we're going to do what's called stitching two double crochets together. And we're going to stitch the first two double crochets together. It's also called a double crochet decrease. So we'll yarn over, we'll go in that first double crochet and pull up a loop. Then we'll go in the next double crochet and pull up a loop. You'll have four loops on your hook instead of the normal three. Yarn over and go through all three of the first ones. Leaves two on your hook, yarn over and go through the last two. So we decrease these two stitches to one. One double crochet in that center stitch and then we're going to stitch another double crochet decrease or two double crochets together with these last two. Yarn over, go in, pull up a loop, go in the next stitch and pull up a loop. Yarn over, go through the first three, yarn over and go through the last two and chain two. And so what we're doing now is we're bringing the top of that leaf back in. This brings us to our group of four. So we'll just stitch one double crochet in the next four. One, two, three, and four. And chain two. And then we'll repeat with these five what we did over here. We'll stitch the first two double crochets together. We'll stitch one double crochet in that center double crochet and then stitch the last two double crochets together and chain two and then one double crochet in those next four stitches one two three and four and chain two All right, we'll do the last ones together. One double crochet in the next and stitch the last two of these five together. And chain two. And so now you'll repeat what we've done here, stitching the first two together, one in the center, and then the last two together of our group of five chain two, one double crochet in the next four, chain two, and you'll repeat that all the way across your row. And then of course, you'll end with our chain two and then one double crochet in the last four double crochets. And again, this is just a reminder that I'm doing a swatch chain three. You're going to have again eight sets of your four double crochets and then you'll have seven sets of your three where we decreased on the beginning and end of those five. So we have completed row five, we chained three and now we're going to turn our work. And again our chain three counts as our first double crochet so we'll double crochet in those next three stitches.
Now we're going to chain three. And we're going to do what's called stitching three double crochets together. All right, so yarn over, go in the first double crochet of those three and pull up a loop. We'll go in the next double crochet and pull up a loop. Then we'll go in that third double crochet and pull up a loop. So you'll have five loops on your hook. Yarn over and go through the first four. Yarn over and go through the last two loops. So what we've done is we've taken those three stitches and made it into one. Chain three. One, two, and three. Then we're going to double crochet in, of course, those four double crochets. One, two, three, and four. And before we go on, I want to take a look at that so you can get a good look at what that looks like. One, two, three. See how that forms the point of the top of our leaf? And you can see the leaf shape right there. All right, let's do it again on our next three double crochets. Yarn over, go in the first one, pull up a loop, go in the next one, pull up a loop, and then go in the last one of those three and pull up a loop. Yarn over, go through the first four loops, yarn over and go through the next two and chain three. And we'll repeat this. One double crochet in the next four. One, two, three, and four. Chain three, one, two, three. And again, I wanna show you one more time just so that you understand what we're doing. We're stitching those three double crochets together. Yarn over. Go in, pull up a loop, go in the next stitch, pull up a loop, go in the next stitch, and pull up a loop. Again, you have five loops on your hook. Yarn over and go through the first four. Yarn over and go through the last two and chain three. And then you'll repeat this working all the way across our row. And then you'll have that chain three and end with one double crochet in the last four. And chain three. And so you'll have eight sets of your four double crochets, and then you'll have seven of your three double crochets together. And remember, on this one, you have chain three in between those three double crochets together. Let's do row seven. Again, our chain three counts as one and we turned our work, and then we're going to double crochet in those next three. One, two, three. We're going to chain three, and we're just going to stitch one double crochet in the top of this double crochet where we decrease three to one, and then chain three. And that sort of gives our stem of our leaf. And I liked it because it just opened it up and made it a little more lacy. All right, so now we've chained three and we're going to double crochet and the next four double crochets. Chain three. One double crochet in the top of that double crochet decrease that we made. And chain three. All right. One double crochet in the next four. Chain three and one double crochet in that double crochet. And 
chain three. And you'll repeat this working all the way across this row. We have four double crochets, chain three, one double crochet, chain three, and then four double crochets. You'll repeat it all the way across. Here's my last chain three, and then one double crochet in those last four double crochets. And chain three. And so you'll have again eight sets of your four double crochets and then you'll have seven with your one double crochet with your chain threes in between. And you can really see that leaf shape now. All right so now we've chained three we're going to turn our work and for row eight we're going to do the v-stitch again. All right, so the way that works is again one double crochet and the next three stitches. Chain two. And then we're going to V stitch in that one double crochet. So double crochet, chain one, and double crochet in the top of that one double crochet. We'll go ahead and chain two so you can see how that looks. There we go. All right, so we chain two. This brings us to our four double crochets. One, two, three, and four. And again, we chain two, stitch a V-stitch in this one double crochet. Double crochet, chain one, and double crochet again is our V-stitch and chain two. And so now what we're going to be doing is building our next leaf. And so this chain one sort of works as the stem for both leaves as it hooks it together. All right, so then we've chained two and double crochet in the next four double crochets. Whoops, I'll try that again in that last double crochet. <laughs> Had a little string there. Chain two, V stitch in the one double crochet there. And chain two. And again, you're gonna repeat this all the way across your row. When you get to your last chain two, you stitch one double crochet in those last four double crochet stitches. There we go. And again, chain three. And so again, you're going to have seven V stitches with chain twos in between and then eight sets of your four double crochets. So now we've completed up through row eight. Our repeat is only six rows. And what we're going to repeat is row three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Row three through row eight is our six row repeat. All right, and you're going to repeat these six rows for 12 or more times. I did 12 repeats, which gives me 13 sets of six repeats, okay? So, in order to complete your wrap shawl, you're going to need to repeat row three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, 12 or more times. So here is my actual new leaf wrap shawl. And you can see that I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven V stitches and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sets of the four double crochets. If you've added rows to your wrap shawl, make sure that you end on a V stitch row. All right. And then we're going to add a nice solid row of double crochet to this end. 
So the way we're going to add a nice solid row to the end of our wrap shawl is again, our chain three counts is our first double crochet. We're going to double crochet in those next three stitches. One, two, and three. We're going to stitch two double crochets in the chain two space. Now we'll stitch one double crochet in the double crochet. We'll skip that chain one space and stitch one double crochet in the next double crochet. Then we'll stitch two double crochets in that chain two space. One and two. Then one double crochet in those next four double crochets. There's three and four. All right, this brings us to our next group here of placing two double crochets in the chain two space, one and two. Then we'll stitch one double crochet in the double crochet of that V stitch. We'll skip that chain one space and stitch a double crochet in the next V stitch, double crochet of that V stitch and then two double crochets in the chain two space. All right, and this is gonna give us a nice row across this edge of our wrap shawl. One double crochet in the next four double crochets. Two double crochets in the chain two space, one and two one double crochet in the next double crochet. We'll skip that chain one space and stitch a double crochet in the next double crochet and two double crochets in the chain two space. And that's the way we'll work that working all the way across this edge of our wrap shawl. I have stitched that row of double crochet all the way across and I'm going to cut my yarn. Now I did not add any extra trim to this wrap shawl and that's because I wanted the leaf pattern to be the star of this pattern. All right, you can add a trim if you want to. I went ahead and tied that off and I'll grab my needle and I'll weave in my ends. I have three ends to weave in where I started, where I joined my next cake of yarn in and then of course this end one. Make sure you go through those stitches and fibers and weave that in nice and securely because I have a feeling this is so beautiful it's going to be worn <laughs> a lot. I have completed my A New Leaf wrap shawl and I absolutely love the way that it turned out. I love these bright colors there's fall in there and there's Halloween colors and just you can do this in any colors. Like I said, ombre, solids, striping yarns, any medium weight number four yarn will work for this pattern. And I absolutely love this one. And I think I'm going to keep this one. <laughs> this is just one I'm just going to keep. <laughs> it's just so beautiful. It's my new favorite. I hope it'll be your new favorite too.